Hi, I'm Danny from Harlan, and today we're going to talk to you and teach you about how to properly clean your Ugolini Visual Slush Machine every week. To do your weekly cleaning, you're going to need easy access to sinks and clean water, regular and normal dish soap, some clean cloth, the lubricating gel, and cleaned and sanitized containers or jugs. The first steps we have to do, and it makes it easier to clean the machine, if it's in the night mode or stirring mode, so the product in the barrel is in liquid form rather than slush. The first step is to empty your barrel. Set the product you just took out of the machine aside as you can reuse it. We have now removed most of the product from the barrel and to make it easier, we will give it a quick rinse with clean, cold water. You want to put enough water in the machine to cover the outer spiral. With your cloth or brush, wipe any residue on the top of the bowl. You may turn the machine on in the one position. This will help loosen any stuck product. Next, we will empty and discard the rinse water. The next step is to remove the barrel. To do that, we need to simply and gently push up on the front of the barrel and wiggle it back and forth while pulling away from the machine. You will notice the feet on the bottom of the barrel popped out. We will gently wiggle the barrel back and forth while pulling out, the excess water left in the barrel will drip and fall into your drip tray. Next, we need to remove the outer spiral by simply turning it clockwise and pulling toward the front of the machine. Next part to remove is the inner auger. It is held in there by magnet and will be hard to pull out. The last part to remove is the outer gasket or large white bowl gasket. By pulling forward, it will come off the seat. On the bowl, we need to remove the spigot to clean the O-rings on the spigot. We simply remove the pin and pull the spigot assembly out. The spigot O-rings should be removed for cleaning every time you clean your machine. The easiest way to remove the O-rings is by pinching two sides, creating a loop, and rolling the O-ring out of its groove. In warm soapy water, wash all parts, rinse, and allow to air dry. The machine may be reassembled with the parts still damp. Now with our parts air drying, we will clean the barrel of the machine. With warm soapy water, we wipe the exposed evaporator both outside and inside and ensure to clean the back of the machine. Make sure you wipe up all leftover product on the tray. Next step, is to take some clean water, no soap, and rinse off all soap residue from the washing procedure. Now that everything has been cleaned, we're ready to start the reassembly procedure. We start with our large white bowl gaskets. These gaskets do not get any lubrication, and you will find your gaskets may have discolored from some of the colors in the slush. The gasket does not need to be replaced unless it is leaking slush. We simply slide the gasket back on and make sure that it is seated in the proper groove. Our next step is to replace the inner auger. Before we do that, we need to add some lubrication to the white bushing. The next step is to reinstall your outer spiral. It aligns with the end of the inner auger and the two catches must mesh together in a counterclockwise fashion. Next, we slide on our clean bowl. We first need to add some lubrication into the centering cup. We want to ensure that the feet at the bottom of the bowl get locked in to the groove on the front of the machine, simply by pushing backwards and down. The last step is to put the O-rings back in and lubricate them and replace the spigot. To replace the spigot, we simply drop it in the hole and line up the pin. Lastly, we want to make sure that the underside of the light box cover is nice and clean. Please do not submerge light box cover in water. Repeat this process on all cylinders of your machine. Remove the two thumb screws on the left hand side panel and remove panel by pulling outward and then lifting up. Here you will find your dust filter. Please clean by shaking it off and rinsing with water. We are ready to refill and start making slush again. This procedure should be done one time per week. 